Hello guys and welcome to a new video with an update on the Frost Mage guide. As most of you guys already know, Frost is beating Fire and Arcane on most bosses in the Nighthold raid. Especially in Mythic raiding because it's so strong on cleave damage thanks to splitting eyes. Personally I'm fond of Frost and it will most likely stay my main spec throughout patch 715. Don't be alarmed if you're playing Fire or Arcane though, as the difference in damage done between the three specs are minor. In this guide I will go over stats, best legendaries, tier pieces, gems, enchants, relics, talents and the rotation. I will also discuss the Thermal Void spec in depth, as in my eyes it's the best and benefits the most from the tier set. Let's start as always with our stats. Stats are going to be as followed. Intellect, Haste, then Crit. Your critical strike will fluctuate around the 30%. After that, stack as much haste as you can. Versatility comes before mastery. I know that a lot of Nighthold gear has either haste, mastery or crit mastery. It's rare to see an item with our best stats, crit and haste. Next, let's take a look at our best legendaries and tier pieces. Some legendaries are obviously performing better than others. Lady Vash's Grasp in combination with Mactyridon's Banished Bracers are best in slot, making them almost mandatory when playing Frost. Shard of the Exodar is still one of the best legendaries no matter what spec we choose to play. When looking at our tier pieces, Mastery is as I mentioned before the last thing we want on an item. The 2 set is very good for Frost, Frostbolt has a 10% chance to trigger Brain Freeze. The 4 set bonus doesn't look spectacular but equipping your 4 set is still the way to go. To complete our force set, I recommend equipping the following pieces. Legs, hands, back and shoulders. Of course, swap out pieces if you have the legendary hands or shoulders like me. Gems, enchants and relics. For your gems you want to get the 200 in one, all the others should be haste. Enchants are almost identical to fire and arcane, except for your ring enchants you want to take the 200 haste ones. My golden rule is to always go for the relic that increases your weapon's item level. Let me give you guys a quick list of which ones are best in order. Let it go is overall the most versatile relic. Frozen Veins is also very valuable. Ice Age is strong for our flurry damage. Clarity of Thought for more flurry procs. And last but not least, the one that increases our frostball damage. Alright, let's talk about the talents. Tier 15, you want to pick Bone Chilling because Water Jet together with Frostball will give you those fingers of frost on demand to extend our icy veins. For some fights I have taken Lonely Winter in combination with Splitting Ice when there is a cleave add up all the time. Lonely Winter can also be picked when you have the two best in slot legendaries since you will most likely be drowning your fingers of frost making bone chilling less appealing. Second tier, almost the main reason why I play frost is because of the lovely spell Ice Flows. I almost take it on every fight, a lot of fights are movement heavy so I really recommend Ice Flows. Tier 45 will pick Mirror Image for short fights and Encounters Flow for longer fights. Tier 60 I'm going for Frozen Touch for those pure single target fights like Croesus. Nighthold does have a lot of ad fights and this is why Frost really shines. The reason being Splitting Ice is you are gonna take this talent on most fights. Tier 75 Frigid Winds. Tier 90 Unstable Magic for single target fights or fights with 1, 2 or maybe 3 ads. Artigale is really good on Spellblade for instance, as Blizzard also reduces the cooldown on Frozen Orb. The sooner Frozen Orb gets off cooldown, the more Fingers of Frost we can get to extend our Icy Veins. Last tier, Thermal Void, because in my opinion it's the best way to play Frost. On some heavy ad fights like for example Scorpion Run, I do take Comet Storm. So finally, let's get to the most exciting part of this guide, the rotation, along with the talents that we are going to pick on most fights. Bone Chilling, Ice Flows, Mirror Image, Splitting Ice, Frigid Winds, Unstable Magic and of course Thermal Void. People that do have the Wrist Enhanced Legendaries can go with Lonely Winter instead of Bone Chilling. Our opener will look like this. Take a Pre-Pod, Pre-Cast Ebon Bolt, keep that Flurry proc to extend Icy Veins. Mirror Image, Icy Veins, Frost Bolt together with your Water Jet to get those two Fingers of Frost Charges. Frozen Orb, dump your Icicles, dump your Flurry proc, always end with an Ice Lance after you cast a Flurry proc as your Ice Lance will get a damage boost and extend your Icy Veins. Keep casting Frostbolt and hopefully you get some more Fingers of Frost. When Water Jet comes off cooldown, use it. When Frozen Orb gets off cooldown, use it. 
when you did a good job extending icy veins, even bolt should get off cooldown, use it to extend with a flurry proc. Without the wrist and hands legendaries, I can easily extend icy veins with more than a minute. When we do lose our icy veins buff, keep casting frostbolt with the tier set, you will rarely reach 5 icicle stacks without getting a flurry or fringles of frost proc. Use your water jet with frostbolt, use frozen orb when off cooldown, use your even bolt when off cooldown, keep an eye on your icy veins. When your icy veins is ready, ideal you want to start with already having 1 or 2 fingers of frost, water jet and frozen orb of cooldown. That way you are in the best position to extend icy veins as much as possible. That's gonna be it for this video guys, next up will be a quick update concerning the arcane mage as they benefit the most from the tier set. If you guys get any suggestions for new videos, I will be glad to hear them. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, comment and of course don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.